Hello and welcome to another video from me, Rough Swordsman Wargamer. It's part three of a playthrough of RAF, The Battle of Britain 1940 by Decision Games and designed by John Butterfield. Before we start, I must apologise for the mistake in the last video where poor old Hornchurch possibly got a bigger thrashing than it needed, but uh, there we go. I will be using Stuka Joe's um, sequence of play deck, of course, but I'll just be, uh, instead of showing you and explaining every card, I'll just be using it to go through the sequence to speed up the gameplay. Everything is set up, ready for raid day two. All the squadrons are back, and that means all the Luftflotte aircraft are back too. We'll have a quick look up the top there just to show you what's what. So the day is August the 14th, Luftwaffe depletion is zero, how experienced pilot points and Spitfire points are at 10, German level bomber replacements are at 13, and the fighter replacements and hurricane replacement points at 16. First card is repair. And if there are any light damage markers on the board from, say, radar nets, we can remove those and attempt to repair heavy damage. But we're all OK at the moment. Time of day. We draw the top card of the raid event and see if the time advances. No, it doesn't. Zero. So the day starts bright and early at 0600 hours. Weather. We roll a die and see what the weather is. Let's hope for some uh, bad weather, eh? We get a five. And a five on the weather chart here. We can use the card here, even though it says on the card partly cloud. On the board it says patchy cloud, but there we go. Doesn't make a difference. Five. So we've got patchy cloud or part, partly cloud and broken cloud. Okay, so patchy cloud for Luftflot 2. And broken cloud for Luftflot 3. Next will be night patrol assignment, but we don't do that. So, advanced warning. As the event card didn't say no advanced warning, we can reveal the next card. So, it looks like our first possible raid is Luftflot 2 in the east, and then Luftflot 3. Next is squadron patrol assignment. That's where we have to decide what we're putting up on patrol. Luftflot 2 in the east is going to be this sort of area. So I'll put these up. We don't often get raids this deep, but just in case the Luftflot 2 east raid is a no go, the Luftflot 3, we may be able to use those if we get good intelligence to sort of infiltrate over there. But there we go. So, one here, one here, and one here. One there. No, I think we'll move that into London, actually. I think I'll... Oh, I'm going to put another one in here. Could be wrong. There we go. Raid target determination. We've got to see what it is and if it's a major or minor raid. So we take the Luftflot 2 East card and North Weald. That's here. Oh, look, two. <laughs> okay, major or minor raid. Here we are. The priorities didn't change. They, they change with the day card, but there was nothing on there telling us to change the priorities. So an airfield is still medium priority, 
and Northweald has a strategic value of three. Two. Oh, it's a minor raid. And now it's detection up here. So it's not a major raid. So I don't have to worry about this plus three, which for some reason I always seem to forget. But we add the observer core value for the current weather and the current weather in Luflot 2 is patchy cloud. So that's the middle number. So we add a three and then we add two for each radar net. We've got two of those and they're both intact. So that's two, four, five, six, seven. Three. That makes it 10, which isn't great. So, late warning, but accurate intelligence. Next would be poor intelligence, but no, we have accurate. Raid size determination, we take the top false card and it's a minor raid and it's two. Two are coming over. Limited intelligence would be next, but no, we're accurate. So we can actually find out what the makeup is of this raid. So the next target card, and we've got two. So it's just Heinkel 111 and an ME 109. Here's the Heinkel. And we'll pick, well, I'll pick a B. Accurate intelligence. So our warning is late though. So that just means we're only allowed to uh, intercept that raid with en route and on patrol. Let me just pop that there to show you that's North Weald. So en route for North Weald is 511 and 611. 511 have these two here and 611. Hmm. Well, we'll definitely have these two in 511. These are going into the hunt box. Do we use this one? No. No, I think we'll just have the two. So over to the uh, raid display. Okay, we're in the raid display and uh, group in a less than squadrons. So we can either move the excess up into the bomb box or keep them both here. I'm gonna move one up. The reason being if, if they both get disrupted or get a bolt results or even worse, light loss, this is gonna get through. So we'll keep it like that, one on one, and it's the raid approach event. So let's turn that over and see what we get. Clouds inhibit hunters. If the region has patchy or broken cloud, all C group and in hunt leave raid. No, it's a B. So that doesn't, doesn't apply. Right. Hunter attack. So total of three. There is one group in the combat. So we are on, where are we? One, row D. We throw a die. Oh, crikey. Six. It's a B, ME109. And that result is a bolt for Bs and a bolt, whoops, where are we? To in flight reduced for full group. There we go. And for our squadron, row D, six. Oh dear, oh dear. D, six, it's a C. It's a light loss. Yeah, it's a C. And light loss. To light loss, minus one VP. So we're down to minus five. And this goes off to the uh, RAF tote board on the light loss part for this squadron. 
raid target event. And it is. Interception over coast. If raid warning is none or late, well it's late, move all grouping from the channel patrol to close escort. Well there's nothing there. Bomb before squadron interception and attack. Okay, time advance two. We keep this one to the side. I'm just going to check that in the rules here. Yeah, if the warning for the raid matches that listed with the event, yes. Move all grouping from the channel patrol box to the close escort box. No, we don't. There aren't any there. Then resolve German bombing before resolving squadron interception and attack. Great. Okay, they are bombing. So the bombing value of this Heinkel 111 is five. So we throw a die. Five. A five is a strength and it's a five. Two hits or two damage, but there is Patchy Cloud over Luftflot 2. And Patchy Cloud says shift one column to the left. So only one damage. So that's another victory point loss. And being an airfield, it may incur squadrons that are in that sector to become dispersed and loss of replacement points. But luckily, there's nothing there in that sector. So it doesn't apply, which is good. Okay, so it's now payback. We can attack this group of uh, Heinkels. Combat value is three for the Hurricanes and six for the Heinkel, which is a total of nine. There is one group in the combat. So, one group. Oh, H. Let's throw and see what we get. We get, oh crikey, six again. <laughs> They're both A's. So for the Heinkel on H, that is a light loss. And in the bomber box, a light loss is two light loss plus one VP. We get one back. And off to the light loss box for you. And for our poor squadron, what have we got? H. It's an A. Disrupt. And in the bomber box, disrupt is to in flight reduced. Oh, and that's that. Next, German recovery. So, reduced group and go to the clock track for ahead of the time. But are turned to their full strength, so that won't come back until 1400 hours. Next is clock update, and on the last uh, event card we drew, it's two. So up we go, it's 1000 hours. And next will be German fighter turnaround. So any fighter group and on the clock at or before the actual time would be moved back to their air bases. Squadron turnaround is next. And uh, as it advanced two, we're over here after two time advances, rearm and land, go to sector, no patrol go to sector. So all these can go back and land, which is handy for us. One there. We just pop that over there. That's it. Because that's in there. I think that's it. North Weald was bombed slightly, but uh, not too bad. Full in flight goes to sector. No, we have a reduced in flight goes to rearm Flipped to full. There we are. And we're back to advance warning. The last event card 
didn't say no advance warning, so we can reveal the next two possible raids. Luftflot 3 and Luftflot 2 South. Next is Squadron Patrol Assignment, but you didn't tell us, look, I missed one. That goes back to Sector. So Luftflot 3, you're attacking. So I think we'll pop that in there. One of those in there. I'm going to put both of those in there. And a Hurricane in there, I think. What's next? The Flot South is coming over, so I don't want to put too many of those. Don't think we'll use any of those. No? Okay, we'll keep it like that. We now go back to step seven. And step seven is reveal the target card. And it is Southampton. There. Let's see if it's a minor or major raid. So Southampton is a port, strategic value of two. So we're on here. Let's roll a die. Two. It's a major raid. So now we see what our detection is. It's a major raid, so plus three. We now add the Observer core value for patchy clouds, which is this one. So that's two, that's five, and two each for those because the nets are okay. That's nine. We roll a die. Oh, six. Fifteen. That's right up there. Warning is early. Intelligence, though, is limited. We now see... How many are coming over? So we bypass the poor intelligence and see now what the size of the raid is. Nine. It is limited intelligence, but early warning. So here we are, limited intelligence early. So we can take them on route and on patrol in range. So let's have a look. On route is just 111. Let's take both of those for the moment. And in range, 410 to 11. Right, that's here. So we'll have those, they're on patrol. 211, we can only take them if they're on patrol. So we do take this other one. Hmm. Yeah, because I can always move one in, I suppose. Yep, let's take that. It's a major raid. Nine coming over. So five squadrons in the hunt box. Let's see what the makeup is of this nine plane raid. There we are. Where are we? It's the biggest one, I think, so far. Right, I'll get that set up in the raid display. There's our five squadrons. We've got three ME109s to intercept in the hunt box, three bombers in the bomber box, a couple of ME110s in the close escort box, and an ME109 in the channel patrol box. Hunter interception. Groupen are less than the squadrons, so the excess full squadrons can go to the bomber box if they wish. And I want to keep 11 combat points here. I'll show you why. So I'm going to move those. So there's three grouping in the hunt box. And if we look on the combat results table, three grouping brings us down to E for 11. That's my thinking anyway. Right. Raid approach event. What's this? ME109's close support. Move all A groupen from the hunt and in-flight boxes to
to the close escort box. Well, look, <laughs> let's put pay to that then, isn't it? That goes up there. Although, now there's less grouping in the hunt box, that might be to our advantage, right? Hunter, attack. So we've got 11, nothing for those. Two grouping in the combat. Where are we? Two. F. We roll a die. We get a five. So here are the both seeds. So on row F, five C's. They're both disrupted. And that, if you remember, is to in flight. Over they go. Our squadrons though, we've got two A's. Sorry about that. The camera on the uh, on the phone just packed up. Just about to do the squadrons, two A's and a B on row F. There we are. F, A's and B's, five. <laughs> Both are bought. So for full squadrons, two in flight reduced. That's the lot of them. There we go. Not good at all. So we don't have any squadrons to go up to the bomber box. Oh dear. Right. Next. Raid target event. Fighters strafe. Move all A groupen from the close escort box to the bomber box. Oh crikey, look, there's two of them. They're coming down to strafe. Southampton. Target interception. So these two squadrons will be intercepting these two squadrons and this close escort, which means those are going to get through. Here we go. So we're adding up all the numbers to the right of the letter. So what have we got here? We've got 11, 13, 17 and 3 is 20. There are three groupen in the combat. Oh, G. Throw a die. We get a two. So, for the Luftwaffe we've got, we'll do the bombers first, we've got a B and a C. On the G for two. Oh, B's. Heavy loss, A's, a bolt. So, in the bomber box, there we are. Full group. Heavy loss, plus two VP, a bolt to in flight reduced. So, to in flight reduced. And you to the heavy loss box, up there. And we get two VP. We are back to minus three. Next, this close escort. It's a B on G for 2B. Oh, look at that, another heavy loss. That's in the uh, close escort box though. Heavy loss, still the same. To the heavy loss, two VPs. Which is how we get our points. We are now minus one, but now we've got to see what the damage is to our squadrons. B's and C's on the G for a two. Oh dear. B's and C's, look. That's G, isn't it? Yes. Light loss and a disrupt, B's and C's. Light loss, of course, is to the light loss box. So we'll put that on the tote board. And the C is a disrupt, in flight reduced. Crikey. Now these bomb and strafe. They have five, six, seven, eight points of bombing strength. 
So we throw a die. Three. Eight points. Three, one damage, but we have Patchy Cloud. So it moves one to the left, but it's no different. So it's one damage. So we lose another VP for that, but for ports, there is no additional effect. So we just lose a VP and we're back to minus three, I believe. What's up and down, like a yo-yo. German recovery, right. These, of course, go to the in-flight box. We'll do that now, as does that one. There we go. The full Gruppen fighters are going back three ahead of the time and the two bombers back to their air bases reduced. Here's the ME 109s. That's three ahead. One, two, three. Yep. And here's the ME 110. And the two Junkers 88s back reduced to their air base. Next would be clock update, but I don't know if you saw, no time movement. German fighter turnaround, there are no units on the clock time there. There'll be no squadron turnaround because the clock didn't move. So we are back to advance warning. Advance warning. But before we do that, yes, I made a slight mistake. I. Uh, Put the wrong bombers in the box there, so we're going to swap those over. So that should have been a B, and that goes back over there. Right, the second event card didn't say no advance warning. So let's go and have a look what's happening next. Here we are, Luftflot 2 south, and again Luftflot 3. Those are the next two possible raids. Next is squadron patrol assignment. Let's just remove that. So, Luftflot 2 South. This area, of course. So, and the next one would be Luftflot 3, possibly. So we'll have Spitfire. Patrol. Patrol and London. Yeah, okay. Now we reset the deck again. Back to step seven, raid target determination. So let's see what they're doing this time. Here we are. Tangmere. Over there. Oh dear. <laughs> Nothing there, they're all in the... Uh, in-flight box reduced. So let's see if it's a, a minor or major raid. Tangmere is an airfield, of course. Strategic value of three. So we're rolling on here. We get a three. And a three is a major raid. Next, detection. We get a plus three for being a major raid. And now we add the cards, observer core value and any radar nets. So we can see that it's two because it's patchy cloud and another six here. All the radar nets are intact. So that's 11 and three. Is 14. We've actually moved down one. So our warning is sufficient, but intelligence is accurate. So here's Tangmere. We may have a little problem here. So let's see. Poor intelligence, no. Raid size determination. Major raid coming over. Eight. Limited intelligence, no. Raid deployment. Let's see what the makeup of this raid is. There's eight. There they are. So 
So, I'll get those sorted. Next is accurate intelligence and sufficient warning. So it's only squadrons that are en route. And en route is just 111. And as you can see, there's Nout there. So we're in for a bit of a, a bumpy ride. So just the one bomber, but there are no squadrons around. Look at that, six Gruppen in the hunt box and one close escort guarding the bomber. Would be hunter interception, but there are no squadrons. And it says here, no squadrons. All these go to the in-flight, so I'll do that. <laughs> there we are. Next, raid approach event. All right, we've got this time. ME109's close escort. Move all A and B group from, from the hunt and flight boxes to the close escort box. A's and B's. Well, that was a waste of time. Let's move that over there. That's a 110. They've got it in for us. Look at that. Next, it would be hunter attack, but there are no uh, squadrons. Raid target event. We got secondary target. All B grouping in the bomber box. Bomb the secondary target. Well, nothing in the bomber box yet. There will be when these move down. But not at the moment. I think that's right. Yes, there are no B grouping in the bomber box. Okay, but the card does have time advance of one. So we put that to the side. No squadrons to intercept. So if there are no squadrons in the bomber box, move all close escort grouping into the bomber box. Right. There we go. <laughs> Squadron attack would be next, but no. So it is, bombardment, and they're all bombing and strafing Tangmir. So you have to be a bit careful with strafing because there are some targets where the ME-110 has to halve its bombing value and the ME-109s don't get anything at all. And those targets are radar city headquarters or military bases. But no, they're going after an airfield. So it all counts. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve. Grief. We're going to lose some VPs now. Twelve, so we throw a die. Oh! Ha <laughs> ha! One. Twelve though. Oh, do you know? Crikey. Look. Look. Twelve would be one, but there is patchy cloud. One column to the left, is that lucky or what? Nothing. These games mess with your mind. I thought we were going to have a huge loss of victory points, but no, nothing. And honest, Gov, this is how the cards and dice are turning up. So there we are. These all go back to the in-flight box. The RAF have got their guardian angel with them. Right. German recovery. These now have to all toddle back to the clock or to the airbase. Crikey, look at that. One, two, three. Huge pile coming back there. And there's the ME-110. And the Heinkel 111 back reduced. <laughs> Still can't believe it. Clock update. As you saw on the last event card, the time will advance one space. So we're now 1200 hours. German fighter turnaround. No, there's nothing on or before that time. So it's squadron turnaround. Right. 
on space, so on here. Rearm, go to sector. So there's one here from 511. That goes there. Land, go to rearm, nothing. Patrol, go to rearm. Right, this is where I missed them. There's one here. 310. Because a couple of people have mentioned it, they're not moaning, but uh, they said it would help. I finally weakened and I've uh, bought some blank Scrabble tiles, a la Stuka Joe, to try and help me out with uh, sorting out the patrol planes. So there we go. <laughs> There's another one. 110. 611. 711. 211. Where are we? There you are. Ah, one in London. Always forget the one in London. I think. Is that it? Full in flight to rearm? No, but we've got these reduced squadrons which are going to land flipped to full. So I'll do that. There we are. And we're back to advance warning. The event card didn't say no early warning, so we're okay, we can reveal the next one. Oh, crikey, two in Luftflop three. Oh dear. Okay, oh, awkward. Right, it's time to put our patrols out. But as you can see, there is not a lot in Luftflop three. So, I think we'll pop these out to patrol in this adjacent sector, just in case that they can help out there. Yeah, and then these, for the same reason, in case they can help out if we get good warning and intelligence. Okay, time to reset the deck. And as you probably know, the next thing to do is raid card determination. Let's see what we get. Weymouth, a port down there, look. Strategic value three, that's going to get hit. Right. There we are. Let's see if it's a minor or major raid. So Weymouth, as you saw, was a port. Strategic value three. So there we are, look, major raid, no need to throw. So, detection. We get plus three for it being a major raid. It is patchy cloud, so we get a plus two and another two, four. For those, we're lucky the radar nets haven't been targeted at all. So that's nine. Let's hope for a nice high number. Oh dear. <laughs> Two. So that's 11. Sufficient warning, but limited intelligence. Next is poor intelligence. No, we are limited, so we can see how many are coming over. And that is 10. Limited, so we've got sufficient warning. It's just those en route. So it's just the one squadron. Well, we better send up that lone squadron because if we don't, we will get penalized for victory points. So we'll just have to hope that other Luftflot 3 is a no raid. <laughs> so let's see what's coming over. 10 of them. There they are. Right, better get them sorted. There we are. I've had to do some substitutions. There are no Dornier 17s in uh, Luftflot 3. And we only had one ME 110. So substituted uh, the bombers and ME 109s for those. Next is Hunter Interception. Well, that lone squadron's got to stay there. 
Raid Approach Event. Here we are, what have we got? ME109 Close Escort. Move all C ME109 group and from the hunt and in flight boxes to the close escort box. No, none there. Oh dear. Hunter attack. So four, nothing from the Messerschmitts. And there are four of them in the combat. So four down to four. Oh, crikey, look. A. I don't like the look of this. Three. Let's do the German fighters first. We've got two A's and two B's. Well, the A's get away scot-free. The B's are disrupted. And that means they go to in-flight. There we are. For us, we've got a C. That's and a bolt. In flight reduced. The no result for these A's means they go to the close escort box. Raid target event. Undetected escort if the intelligence rating is poor or limited. That's limited. The clock will advance too, though. And it says on the back of the old uh, rules, which is very good for this. Undetected escort move one fighter Gruppen from its air base to the close escort box, in addition to those already assigned to the raid. Right. But... There aren't any. So we get away with it. No squadron interception, of course. And if there are no squadrons in the bomber box, all those close escorts are going to come down to the bomber box. Dear, oh dear. It's not a good day for Weymouth. No squadrons are attacking, of course. So it is bombardment. So just to remind you, the strafing penalty for strafing radar, city headquarters or military bases, the ME-110s halve their value and the 109s contribute no strength, but it's a port. So everything. 5, 10, 15, 20, 22, 23, 24. And the laugh, aren't you? Three. What have we got here? 24, we've got a three. So that's two, but it is broken cloud over at Luftflot three. So we move two to the left, doesn't make any difference at all. Still two damage. So that's two victory points lost. And luckily a port suffers no additional effects. Right. It is now, of course, German recovery. So all these Go back to the in-flight box. Look at that, look. Loads of them. And they are moved to the clock. They're all full groupen, so they're gonna go three ahead. So three ahead, excuse fingers, go to 1800. That's all the ME109s. <laughs> And the 110 as well. And the bombers back to their air bases. And reduced, of course. There's the Heinkels and the Junkers 88s. Next is clock update. There it is. It advances two. Oh, look at this. One, two. All that's going to come back. So we'll sort that out. So, back they come. There we go. 
The La Flots are replenished. Squadron turnaround is next. So it's two time advances. Rearm and land go to sector. So good, we've got a load of squadrons back. So I'll do that. There we go, that's helped out a bit. Patrol back to sector. Here we go. So these two, 211, can go back here. There we are. And this one. And these two. I think that's it. Just this one here. Reduced in flight to rearm, flipped to full. There we go. Right. It comes around quick. It's back to advance warning again. Just want to say before we continue, yes, I've been making a few little daft mistakes, but I think I caught most of them. So apologies for that. And I think we're actually at minus six victory points. Here we go again. So advance warning. It didn't say no advance warning on the card. So we can reveal the next one. Luftflot 3 and Luftflot 2 in the east. So the first possible raid is Luftflot 3 followed by Luftflot 2 in the east, the east here. So I think what we'll do, we'll pop these up. I think we'll put them all up. And because it's the east, we'll put two up there, one there, no, we'll leave it like that I think, reset the deck, and it is raid target determination, here we go, the flop three, worth, they finally decided to have a go at a radar net there, so we'll pop that there. Is it a minor or major raid on Worth? So it is Radar Net Strategic Value 1. So high priority. So we're on this one here. And we get a 3. And that's a minor raid. There's a little asterisk there that says, if the Luftwaffe is depleted, it's a major raid, but they aren't. So minor raid. Next, detection. We've got to see if I can get it right this time with the, uh, the weather. <laughs> it's not a major raid. So we add the observer core value and any radar nets. Let's have a look. So, it is broken clouds, so we don't get anything, but we get six for the radar nets. Oh, look at that, six. And six is 12. Not great, but better than a poke in the eye. 12. So, sufficient warning, limited intelligence. Next is poor intelligence. So we see what size of raid is coming over. Minor raid. Four, still four coming over. So limited intelligence. We now have to place our squadrons in the hunt box. It is sufficient. So as always, it's just those en route. And en route is just 410. Just this one. So what's coming over? Four. 
There we go. Don't think we've got any dornias, have we? Right, let's get those out. Hunter interception. So the squadron has to stay there. Raid approach event. Oh dear. German altitude advantage. If any of the following apply, no or late warning, no. Poor intelligence, no. Reduced squadron, no, but it's this one, isn't it? Prior to September the 1st. Here we go again. So they get to move up one row. Hunter attack. So four and two in the combat. So two Gruppen, four. It would be C, but because of that altitude advantage, we're on B. And look good. We throw a die. We get a five for the Germans. We've got an A and a B. Oh, not too bad. An A and a B on the B is two abolts. To in flight reduced. For our squadron, it's an A, oh no, on the B, it's a light loss, light loss box and one VP lost, minus seven. That goes on the tote board on the light loss part, don't need that anymore, raid target event. Right, what we got? Channel patrollers, close escort. If raid target is coastal or inland, move all grouping on channel patrol to close escort box. Well, no, nothing there. But, two. Next is squadron interception, but there are none. So the close escort moves into the bomber box. And now they attack and bomb. Now this is strafing, but because it's a radar net, we halve that amount for ME 110s. So total of six. Two. Six. Nothing. It's gonna move over here anyway. Crikey, we are being lucky. Nothing at all. And they move to the in-flight box for German recovery. So these would go four ahead, flip to full, this three ahead and the bomber back, of course, to the airbase reduced. There's the Junkers 88. But for the fighters, as you can see, there's only two spaces to go before the end of the day. Therefore, the fighters go back to their air bases reduced. Next is clock update. It's the end of the day. End of the day means that it is now squadron and Gruppen reset. So we'll do the Luftwaffe first. So all the fighters on the clock are placed back on their air bases and all the bombers that are reduced are flipped to their full side. There we go. And now we reset the RAF. So everything that's on patrol goes back to its sector. And this 
rearm as well. Nothing in the in-flight box. So that's it. Next would be Resolve Night Raids, but no, we're not doing that. So it's now Day Advance. So we take another Day card. See what it is. And we're going to advance two days. So I'll do that. We'll have a look at it in a minute up there. And we gain two VP. Now we look at the event on the day card. And it says tension between 11 and 12 groups. Squadrons in 12 group may not be placed on patrol in 11 group sectors in the upcoming day. Oh no. So we can't use any of these to help out here. So next is update replacement points. So on the card we can see Hurricanes get five, Spitfires four, no Blenheims, German fighters three, and level bombers two. Experience points, again done on VPs, we have minus five, so we're here. Two pilot experience points. Right, let's do that. So the day's at August the 16th. And our Hurricane replacement points go up by five. There we are. One, two, three, four, five. Off the bolt there, we're on 21. Spitfire, four. One, two, three, four. No Blenheims. German Fighter 3. 1, 2, 3, up to 19. And Level Bombers 2. 1, 2. Experienced pilot points, as you just saw, go up by 2. And there we are. Next, it's Light Loss Replacement. So the RAF and the Luftwaffe will be spending replacement points to remove any aircraft from the light loss boxes. Over here, we've got one single group and that will cost them one off of their bomber replacements. So we can pop that back. There we are. And we move that one down to 14. And we have some in the light loss box. We've got three in fact. Two from 410 and one from 511. That's three replacement points. So 410. We'll go here. And 511 over there. And we lose one hurricane replacement point and oops, two Spitfire points. Next is heavy loss replacement. No squadrons, but there's a couple of Gruppen here, one fighter, one bomber, and they move down into the German light loss and they have to pay one replacement point for the bomber and one replacement point for the fighter. And there we go. Next is reinforcements if you remember from the end of the last raid day. That allows us to buy reinforcements for VPs. It is the 16th of August, so it's going to still cost us four VPs. It goes down to three for the next day after this. Mm. We're at minus five. I'll tell you what, let's take a chance. Let's uh, buy another Spitfire Squadron for 511. 
that boosts that up a bit. 4VP. We're now down to minus 9. Oh, had a bit of an accident there. And the last card is Card Shuffle Deck, where we see if there are any discards that are much larger than the remaining cards in the deck. I think the only one is going to be the False Deck. There you go, look. So we'll shuffle those back into those in a moment. The others, I think, are okay. The target cards, yeah, they're okay. And the event cards are sort of even Stevens. They'll be shuffled at the end of this raid day. So, I'll give these a shuffle. Bit of a riffle shuffle. Excuse the noise. There we go. Right. We're done. We've come to the end of the deck and we start again. As I keep saying, uh, Stuka Joe's deck is a great help in this game. And I advise you, if you've got the game, if you haven't already got them, of course, is to download them from the link I'll leave in the description. Right, I think we're going to leave it there. This has gone on uh, a long time. I hope that's OK. Don't like to make them too long, but um, there you go. So this has been part three of a playthrough of RAF, The Battle of Britain 1940 by Decision Games and designed by John Butterfield. I know I've made a, a few little daft mistakes. Hope you forgive me for those. But if you have enjoyed it, please consider subscribing, liking the video, pushing the bell, sharing and leave a comment. If only just to say you're doing your best, Ruff. If you really like what I do and want to support the channel, well, now you can. You can buy me a coffee. Doesn't cost much, and it really does help the little channel to um, keep uploading stuff. And a big thank you to those that have already done that. We're putting it to one side, and uh, we'll let you know what we're going to do with that. And as always, another big thank you to my subscribers. Thank you so much for having the faith to subscribe to my channel. So as always, until next time, you take care and goodbye.